It's beautiful. Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are making unicorn treats and it's a party. It's actually my sister's birthday and unicorns are her favorite animal. So I'm going to be making her a bunch of fun treats and surprising her with a real unicorn in the backyard. Let's get started. The first treat that we're going to be making are these marshmallow unicorn horns. Also, I'm now on Cameo, so if you want to come check me out and get a personal video, you can! I'll put a link down below. It's been super fun making these videos. I've actually made a couple birthday videos. Alright, now back to business, back to baking. First up, you're going to add a little bit of water to your marshmallows. I've got the marshmallows in a medium size heat safe bowl, and I'm going to use my spatula to mix it around. So you're going to heat it up for 30 seconds, give it a stir, another 30 seconds, give it a stir. You do this for about two minutes, two to three minutes. You just want to make sure there's no more lumps left. Oh yeah, this is looking good. Look at that. Nice and smooth. It's like marshmallow fluff. So once the marshmallows are nice and smooth, you're going to pour them in the larger bowl of powdered sugar. We're going to kind of sandwich the marshmallows so it doesn't stick to the bowl. Now we're going to put some powdered sugar on the top. We're just going to sandwich it in there, cover the top. And all the powdered sugar that we used is sifted powdered sugar. So just be sure to sift it before you do this. This next part is fun and it gets a little messy. So I'm going to be taking off my rings. I've got a wooden spoon and now we're going to mix these together. You're going to keep mixing the melted marshmallow and the powdered sugar together until it kind of creates a dough like texture. All right, I put my hair up because we're going to get messy. I've mixed it in as well as I could with the spoon. Now it's time to use the hands. I've got a little shortening over here. So what I like to do is coat my hands with shortening so it won't stick. You just put it on like lotion. You know what? I'm just going to mix it right here. I was going to do it in the bowl, but I'm just too short. I can't get in there. I'm just going to do this. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to knead it just the same way I do bread. The powdered sugar helps it not to stick to the counter. Working those baking muscles, baking arms, baking arms. Boom, boom, baking arms. Boom, boom. Look at this, you guys. A dough is starting to form. Just keep kneading until all the powdered sugar is absorbed into the dough and you get this nice consistency. All right, we've got our marshmallow dough all ready. That's what it looks like. This is amazing. It's really smooth and soft. Next step, we're going to divide it evenly into six pieces and color them the different colors of the rainbow. In front of me, I divided the marshmallow dough and colored them using these natural food coloring dyes. I really like these. I try to use these whenever I can now. This is made with one ingredient, organic red beetroot powder. Each one of these colors is made with something else organic from like a fruit or a vegetable. All right, so I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm just going to put a little bit of shortening on my hands just in case, I'm making a little pinch pot. Then you're going to take your little powder, put it right in there, and then using your hands, you just just work it together till it combines. Just keep mixing, kneading together with your hand until you don't see any more spots. Okay, all right, look at how beautiful this is. Now we're gonna divide these, measure them into little balls. So I'm just gonna take a little measure. This is a two teaspoons, then we roll it into a ball. We're gonna do that to each one of these. And you're just gonna keep doing this until you've got a bunch of rainbow balls. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Now you're just gonna keep doing this, make as many as you can from all of the marshmallow dough. Now we're gonna assemble our unicorn horns. I'm gonna show you how to do one. I've got all the rainbow balls over here and I've already rolled out the pink one. And basically it kind of looks like a horn itself. So use the heat in your hand and warm it up. And then we're gonna roll a little log. All right, so it's a little log like this. Then about midway down, we're gonna roll it a little bit more so it gets more narrow. Okay, that looks good. So you're gonna line them up. We're gonna line up pink, orange, yellow, and then we'll stack green, blue, purple on top. Once you've got them stacked, you're gonna pinch, 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 pinch. You also wanna squish them together at the bottom. You don't want them to fall apart. Then you're gonna very gently start to twist. You don't wanna do it fast because it'll tear and rip. Then give it a roll, very gentle roll. And just keep doing this till you achieve the rainbow twistiness that you like. And don't forget to pinch the top, boop, 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 and the bottom so that they'll stay connected. Look how cute, you guys. All right, now I'm just gonna place it over here onto a baking sheet lined with a piece of parchment paper. The unicorn horns need to sit overnight so that they firm up enough so that they can stand up on their own. Leave them out at room temperature. All right, let's make some more. 
more. And da -da, there you have it, marshmallow unicorn horns. They're just so fun for parties. Molly is gonna love these. Like, look at this. Do I look like a unicorn? I'm hoping that this is what the unicorn looks like. He probably has a gold horn. I don't even know. His name's Milo. Now I'm gonna have a little bite for me. Mmm, it's a little crunchy on the outside, just a little bit. Mmm, a marshmallowy on the inside. The next unicorn treat that we're gonna be making are these ice cream cone cupcakes. They're so cute. These are so fun to make, you guys. You actually bake them in the ice cream cone in the oven. The cupcake recipe that we're gonna be making is a vanilla funfetti. All right, the first thing that you'll need to do in a medium-sized bowl, you're going to cream together your butter and sugar. And remember, you want your butter to be at room temperature. You don't want it to be melted and you don't want it to be cold right out of the refrigerator. Once fluffy, you're gonna add one egg. This is the yolk and the whites and you're gonna mix it right until it's combined, just a little bit. Now we're gonna mix together our dry ingredients. In this smaller bowl, we've got flour, baking powder, we're gonna add that, a little salt, we're gonna whisk those together. Yeah, looking good. And now we're gonna alternate adding our dry ingredients and a little bit of milk, then the other half of the dry, and mix it up. Batter's looking good, smelling good, but now we need to make it fun. So I've got these cute little sprinkles. We're just gonna sprinkle them in, and then we're gonna fold them in the batter. You don't wanna use an electric can mixer because these will just break and then you'll just get crumbs everywhere. Next up, scooping the cupcake batter into our ice cream cones that I have here over in a little cupcake tray. What I'm gonna do is I'm using this little ice cream scoop, a little one. I'm using the little one because I don't wanna get the cake batter all over the rim. I want it to go right in the middle. And you're gonna fill these about two thirds full. And if you're using these exact cones, I can show you, I'll point to it. Just this line right here, that's where you wanna fill it to because this batter likes to rise. And then you can use a toothpick or a chopstick, wherever you've got at home. And I'm just using this to get the dough in there nice and even. Once you have all your cones filled, it's time to bake. Heat your oven to 325 and bake for about 25 to 30 minutes. While the cupcakes are baking in the oven, I'm gonna make some fun little unicorn decorations. I got three different colors and fondant in front of me. I've got black, white, and this is a mixture of a little bit of brown and yellow. We're gonna paint on top of it, but I like to do this instead of using just a white because sometimes the little color comes through and this looks a little bit more like a unicorn horn. All right, so for the unicorn horns, you can just take two pieces of fondant, little logs, whisk together, but if you've got a little unicorn mold like I have, if you've never used one before, take a little paintbrush, dip it in a little bit of cornstarch, and you wanna brush the inside of the mold, and you don't wanna overfill the mold, that's the biggest tip. And then because they're silicone and bendy, you can just bend to pop them out. And da-da, look what you've got. And then once you let them sit out for a few minutes to harden and dry, we're gonna paint them with a little bit of luster dust. Again, we're gonna be using a small little brush, a little bit of alcohol. I'm using like a little vodka. And you can use a little dripper if you want or your paintbrush. And you're gonna just put it on top of a little bit of gold luster dust. Gonna use these little tweezers to hold the horn in place while we paint, because it likes to move around. And we're gonna need 12 of these for the 12 cupcakes. Then for the little ears, we're gonna be using the white fondant. We're gonna roll it out flat, pretty thin. I'm gonna start it with my hands. This is a little sneaky trick. Put it down, roll it out, perfect, just like that. I've got this really small diamond cookie cutter, and that's what I'm gonna use to make the little ears. So we cut out a bunch of little diamonds, because every unicorn is gonna need two of these. And as you can see here, to make the ears, you're gonna pinch the bottom, and using a little fondant tool, or if you don't have a tool, you can use a toothpick, just create a line down the middle. And then give it a little pinch. Same thing goes for the eyes, we're gonna need 24 of them. Take your black fondant, roll it into teeny little ropes, you pinch on the ends, and you make a little squiggle. And you can make these look however you want. Boom. That's all the fondant decorations that we need. You wanna make sure to let them sit out for about an hour or two to let them harden and dry before you stick them in the cupcake. Once your cupcakes have baked, give them plenty of time to cool, and then we are gonna add a sprinkle rim to our cones. All right, so there's different ways to do this. In front of me, I've got a little bit of, it's kind of thinner royal icing. It's a little bit thinned out. You can take a brush, 
dip it in here and then just paint all the way around. You could also try to dip the cone. I have noticed that these types of cones have really delicate edges and sometimes when I dip them, little bits of them break off. So the brush is sometimes a good idea too. And I'm just gonna paint all the way around. Okay, and then we're gonna dip it in our bowl of sprinkles over here. This is my favorite part. I love doing this. Oop. And there we go. How cute is this? Now you're gonna do this to the rest of your cupcakes. Now it's time to put it all together. We've got our cute little cupcake baked into the cone and we've got our sprinkle rims. Now I've got some buttercream icing in a piping bag with a number 1A tip. This is a Wilton tip. And we're just gonna pipe a little swirl at the top to look like ice cream because this is a cupcake in disguise. While your buttercream is still soft before it crusts, you'll wanna decorate each one. Take a little pinch of the sprinkles for the top of of your cupcake. Now this is the tricky part because they like to fall all over and if they fall a little bit that's fine but try to get them just at the top. Then we're gonna take a unicorn horn and place it right in the middle. Now place in the two little ears and the two little eyes right on the front. They're so cute. All right, now do this to the rest of your cupcake. And ta -da! There you have it. Here is the unicorn ice cream cone cupcakes that we made today. They turned out so cute. I really love them because they look like ice cream, but they're cupcakes. Hidden cupcake. We have to see inside. Oh, how cool. You guys, look at that. It has got cupcake all the way down to the bottom. This is amazing. All right, let's try it. Mm. I think this is one of my favorite desserts that I've tried in a while. I also did a cupcake ice cream cone recipe in my cookbook baking all year round if you wanna go check it out. That one's also delicious, but I've never done a fun petty. This is literally my second one I've ever done and they're so cute and I think it's a really fun idea. All right, last but not least, we're gonna be making these unicorn chocolate dip strawberries. They're simple and delicious. First step to making these, you wanna prep your strawberries. What I mean by that is you want your strawberries to be at room temperature. All right, so I have a bunch of strawberries in front of me on top of a baking sheet lined with a little piece of parchment paper so that after we dip, we can stick it right on the tray. All right, so take your little strawberry and we're gonna dip it in the white chocolate. Now I'm using a little melting pot. This keeps it at a constant temperature, which I really love. If you don't have one of these, you can heat up your chocolate in the microwave. I like to do it in a little cup. Here we go. Dip, 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 dip. All right. Then we're gonna transfer over onto the baking sheet. Then we're gonna do this to the rest of our strawberries. You can make as many as you'd like. While the strawberries are setting, we're gonna make our little decorations. Once again, we're gonna be using a little bit of fondant to make all of these pieces. So we've got the gold color, white fondant, this peach color, yellow, and purple. So we're gonna be using this one to make the unicorn horns, just like before. And I'm using the same mold. There's three different sizes, only this time we're gonna be using the smallest size. Very similar technique as before. We're gonna be using that small diamond size cookie cutter to make these little ears. But after we cut out the diamond, you're just gonna cut off the bottom. Then the new decoration that we've never used today is this cute little flower mold. You're just gonna take a little fondant, pop it in there, put some pressure on it, pop it out. For the design that I'm making today, each unicorn strawberry will get three flowers. So however many strawberries you made, you'll need three for each one of them. Okay, so in front of me, I have the different stages of decoration. I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's pretty simple. I like to start with the unicorn horn, take a little bit of royal icing I've got in a small piping bag with a number two tip. So a very small tip, and we're just gonna pipe small amount at the base, and we're just gonna stick at the top. Next step, our unicorns need some cute little ears. Again, take your royal icing, stick them on each side of the horn. To attach the flowers, I'm just going to pipe a little U between the ears, add all the flowers. Last but not least, we're gonna pipe on some eyes using just black royal icing with a number one tip. Look how cute! Now you do this to the rest of your strawberries. And da -da! Here's the unicorn chocolate dip strawberries that we made today. I love these because it's dip strawberries, but they're decorated to be so cute. Like these look like little unicorn faces. I always like making treats at parties with fresh fruit or veggies. Okay, I've got to try one. Sorry, unicorn. Mm. 
Yeah. All right, that does it for the recipes. We made three unicorn treats today. We made unicorn ice cream cone cupcakes, unicorn chocolate dip strawberries, and marshmallow unicorn horns. My sister and my little nephews are going to absolutely love these. I hope you guys love them too. I'll be taking lots of pictures and posting the recipes online. If you guys make any of these treats, take a picture and send it to me. I love seeing your baking creations. And stay tuned, this is not the end of the video. I have a big surprise for my sister Mo. I found somebody who has a real unicorn and I'm gonna bring it to the house to surprise her. All right, so let's go surprise Mo with all of these cute treats and a real unicorn. Okay, so the unicorn just got here in the backyard and we're gonna surprise Molly. This is the first surprise, but it's also the kind of fake out surprise. Hey, Molly. Look what I got for you. Happy oh birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Are you kidding me? And they're fun Betty. Oh, amazing. Close your eyes. I'm going to take you through the kitchen and the living room. I have one more surprise. Okay. Okay, close okay, your wait, eyes. Wait, are you going to leave me? Yeah, are I'm going to leave you. Okay, I got your Can hand. You just my hand. Okay. Do, but honor code, oh. keep those eyes closed, Molly. Do not open them. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be a very magical birthday, all right? Keep those eyes closed. You got it. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. All right. Now, are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Open your eyes. <gasps> it's beautiful. It's a unicorn. We got you a real unicorn. Okay. So the horse's name is Milo. Oh, I mean, the unicorn. The unicorn name is Milo. <laughs> Look at the hooves. <laughs> okay, I didn't see that, but that's really cute. Milo, you have the best nail polish. Oh my god, and there's a saddle. Does, does that mean what I think it means? Are you are you gonna sit on top, Molly? Yes. Okay, now you have to pick a helmet. Do you have a big head or a medium head? Okay, tell me if it fits. It fits. Well, you look good. And then when you're done, let's bring over Grayson. He would lose it. I remember when we went camping one time. Dad, Dad and Dad, I. Dad, yeah, we were said, out in the mountains at the river, and he just goes, Molly, look, Molly, look, come here. And look, I look, look, look. as fast as I can. He's like, look up there. And look on top of this mountain. He's like, oh, you just missed it. There's a, a unicorn, unicorn up there. Went you right, just missed went right it. Right by it. Just missed it. But now, see, I They're teased real. you, but they now for real. your birthday, okay, you get to sit on a real unicorn. Oh my gosh. Yes. Molly, this is magic. Don't let him eat it, Grayson. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, how cute. It is just sugar, but you know, they like they like to eat sugar cubes and carrots. They don't they don't like icing. Oh that was so sweet of you to show yeah. him. It has the happy face on it. This looks so like you. Want to ride the unicorn? Mm -hmm. Okay. Here, come over I here. I want to say don't go too fast. Don't go slow. Oh. Milo don't will go, go nice and slow. Mm -hmm. Is this going to fit you? Uh -huh. Yeah, I think it will. You know will. what in Mario Land is? Yeah. The toad is funny. Okay, we're going to do a me? picture first. So say me. cheese, Milo. You have okay. To stand right here. One, One two, two, three. One. Elevator up. Don't go fast. You're doing so good. Don't go fast. Don't go fast. Don't go fast. <laughs> oh, there you go. Hold on. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to play catch with him? Play catch with him? Mm -hmm. We're going to touch apples. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was so much fun. My sister absolutely loved the treats and loved the unicorn. I hope you guys loved the video as well. If you guys enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, it's free, and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. This was a very special video. And if you'd like to watch any other videos, you can click up here or up here. I have never done something like that for my sister. I think that this is the biggest birthday surprise that I've ever done for her, so bye you guys.